Hi, I'm Bry Cox with BryCoxWorkshops.com. And for this week, I want to talk a little bit about a conversation I had with a photographer this week. And it was based on an article, and I'll repost it here with a link. But it was an article I wrote quite a while ago, but I reposted it for the new year. And it was just some things to do, you know, especially when you're slow, but just kind of some things to be thinking about and doing throughout the year. Uh, a couple of those were like marketing, exercise, avoiding TV, things like that. And this photographer, her comment was, I... <laughs> and it came, her comment was on exercise, but I had another question about marketing. And they both had a very similar uh, theme. And so I was thinking about this today. I thought this would be good for a video. So her comment was, yeah, but where do I start? What do I do? What do I, I like the idea of this, but, <laughs> but what do I do? Like, do I, and for her, it was like, do I, you know, what kind of shoes do I get? What kind of, you know, is there certain headphones you recommend? Right, she's thinking of all the tertiary things that I have, have little to do with nothing, I think. And another photographer, his question was about marketing. What should I do about marketing? What's, what's, what's something that's really worked for you? What's something I should be doing right now? And so, in thinking about that, here is, I think, more important than any of this. And it has a lot to do also, I thought it was very interesting, uh, Trajan's just recording some of his weekly videos. And one of them really tied in. So here's the big thing. The biggest thing is to do a little something every day. And so, for instance, I'm, I'm a big believer in, particularly if you're in business, particularly, like there's a lot of stress. There's stress in terms of money, maybe there's stress in terms of family, maybe in relationships or whatever it is, there's always gonna be stress that kind of hits you. And that kind of starts to feel, you kind of feel it. It's like uh, you get like this rush of cortisol and you kind of feel kind of yucky and you just don't feel like doing anything. And so I feel like the best way to beat that is to do something exercise-wise every day. And that replaces that with uh, some endorphins. So the whole point is it's not about trying to beat your time or run further or do more. It's more, more important to do a little something every day. And it doesn't take fancy software. It doesn't even take anything. If I were you, if you're new to doing any of this, just make a little chart right and all you say all i'm going to do is a little something every day and i'm just going to mark that off and i want to visually see that i'm doing it every day so if maybe and I, i'm a big believer in doing something outside too and getting some sun on your skin and in your eyes and getting vitamin d and getting some fresh air so maybe uh if running is kind of difficult maybe it's just walking a mile every day not a big deal and pretty soon it's not about trying to be faster at some point that you're going to go like I don't really feel like a mile is a big deal. I feel like running or walking further, right? Pretty soon you're running a mile or you're running a mile and a half. And then maybe pretty soon you're running two miles. And it's not that you're pushing yourself going, I'm going to run two miles. It's just that after a while, you kind of crave a certain amount of exercise. And then, you know, going from two miles to three miles, it's not like today I'm going to go three miles. It's like, no, I'm going to run two miles. And then at the end of two, I'm going to decide to run a half mile further and just see how I feel. And at the end of that, I'm going to decide to run a half mile further. And it's not about trying to beat your time. It's not about trying to go extra distance. It's just doing a little something every day. And that little something will progress naturally into something where you then start deciding on <laughs> what kind of headphones you like and what kind of shoes you like. All that, those kind of decisions you'll figure out down the road. The biggest thing is do something every day. It's the same with marketing. So photographers are always like, but what kind of marketing should I do? Do you have a marketing plan? And I have a previous video that I did on this with Trajan on marketing. And the big thing is, is that I personally have not ever put together a package of marketing and saying, here, I'm gonna sell this to you, do this thing, and you'll be successful. And the reason is because I don't feel like that is something I can package up because I feel like it's more important to just do a little something every day. A big thing you can do is today, take out a legal pad and just think of 20 marketing things you can do. Five will be pretty easy, 10 will be kind of hard, 15 will be really hard. By the time you get to 20, you'll be, it might take you a while, but just think of 20 things you can do. They can be wild, crazy ideas. They could be super expensive ideas. They could be really cheap ideas. It doesn't matter. The idea is to write 20 ideas and then, Focus on three. Let's just do three of those. And every day, 20 minutes, a half hour, whatever it is, I'm gonna do a little something every day. 
maybe it is shooting video of you talking about your products, showing your products, right? Something you can email out to your clients. I have a full course on how to shoot video, on how to light, on how to mic it, and how to do video production to make it look really nice, right? I have that as a full course on my website, but you could also just do something simple with your iPhone just for now. It's not about doing everything amazing, it's about doing something. Uh, like in uh, martial arts, if there's an issue, if there's a problem, like you're being attacked, there's three things you can do, fight, flight, or, or freeze. Freezing is the worst thing you can do. Any kind of fighting, any kind of fleeing is gonna be better, even if it's exactly the wrong thing. <laughs> it's still better than freezing, and freezing is basically doing nothing. So when it comes to exercise, when it comes to marketing, the biggest thing is to do a little something every day and make a chart. And it doesn't have to be the most perfect thing. Sending out the most perfect email, right, is not nearly as effective as sending out any email. You know, posting on Instagram, posting whatever it is, just constantly little things. What can I do today? What can I do today? What can I do today? That's all you're, that's all you're asking yourself. And just keep making those check marks. Am I doing it today? And then look back and you will see uh, some big progress over time. It's not about trying to get big progress today right this second. It's about slow progress over time. Uh, one of the biggest things in terms of marketing is keep in mind that people, they're not going to just call you the second they get an email or a flyer or a postcard or whatever or see your ad somewhere. They need multiple hits before they finally go, you know what? I like that person. I've seen their name around. I don't know where, but I'm after so many you know, theoretically seven hits, I'm going to then call that person. So the big thing is just a little something every day. Okay, if you have a question for me, uh, my website, brycox, B-R-Y-C-O-X, workshops.com. Of course, I have a lot of uh, courses for members on there on lighting, on posing, uh, digital workflow, video production, sales, all that kind of stuff. Check it out and send me your questions. And until next time, America.